two cars P and Q start from a point at the same time in a straight line and their positions are represented by x p of t which is equal to a t plus b t squared and x q of t which is equal to f t minus t squared. The question is at what time do the cars have the same velocity? So what is given here is the positions of two cars is given by equations in time and they are moving in the straight line. They are moving in the straight line and the positions are given by these two equations. right? And these equations represent the position. Okay, but the question is in terms of velocity, that is at what time do the cars have the same velocity? So we have to find out the velocity first to be able to solve the time in which the, uh, the velocity becomes the same for the two cars. So let us look at the equations, that is xp of t which is equal to at plus bt square, let's say this is equation number 1 and you have got xq of t which is equal to f t minus t square. Let us say this is equation number 2. So these two equations give the position okay? and we know that velocity is change in change in position by time. Okay? That is you can say dx by dt. So we can now differentiate these two equations and get the velocity. So we can say v of p that is velocity of p as a function of time is given as now we can differentiate. If you differentiate this we get a and 2 b t. Okay? This is equation number 3. Now let us differentiate the position uh, equation for car q that will give the velocity of q with respect to time that is f minus 2 t okay so now we have got the equation for velocity of cars p and q now we have to find out at what time do the cars have the same velocity so when the cars have same velocity we can equate these two equations that is a plus 2 b t is equal to f minus 2 t. So here we have got the terms t here and t here so we can rearrange them and get 2 b t plus 2 t on one side and f minus a on the other side. Now we can take t out from this left hand side and we get 2 b plus 2 is equal to f minus a and t equal to f minus a by 2 if you take 2 out we will get b plus 1 or 1 plus b. So this is option um, option 4 so the answer is option 4.